It's an advanced training aircraft but also designed for ground attack and counterinsurgency. The EMV-314 Super Tucano, which is also called A-29 by the Brazilian Air Force, is a total redesign of the 312 Tucano model that we will also see in this video. The Super Tucano is used by 17 countries and it also flew in 16 air forces. Welcome to a new video from the World Aviation Aeropedia. In May of 1984, an agreement was signed between Embraer and George Brothers to modify the EMB-312 to comply with the Royal Air Force's requirement for a high-performance turboprop trainer to replace the British Aircraft Corporation Jet Provost. So it was also built in the United Kingdom with 130 units being completed for them with Garrett engines. The original Tucano had a Pratt Whitney turboprop engine, Canada PT6A with 740 HP and had a load capacity of 1000 kg on four pylons beneath its wings. The EMB 312 Tucano was developed and built in Brazil being a two-seat training aircraft. It can also have ground attack functions. The prototype first flew in 1980 and was one of the first international successes of Embraer with more than 600 units produced. The UK also produced it under license at the show factory. This aircraft is used by Brazil and numerous other countries including Venezuela, Peru, Colombia, Paraguay, Honduras, Egypt, France and Iraq. In the mid-80s, Embraer was working on the short Tucano along with a new version called EMB-3-12G1 that had Garrett engines. The G1 prototype first flew in July of 86. However, the project was abandoned because the Brazilian Air Force was not interested in it. Lessons from recent use of the fighter plane in Peru and Venezuela led Embraer to continue with the studies. A proof-of-concept prototype first flew in September of 91. This new plane featured a reinforced fuselage extension of 1.37 meters, cabin pressurization and a lengthened nose to house the more powerful PT Cisa 67R engine. It was also part of the Brazilian government's Amazon surveillance system project with the request for a light attack aircraft. In the end, the changes were so significant that it was given a new designation EMB-314 Super Tucano. One of the main differences was that now the engine had more than double the power. Kevlar protection for wing parts and the cockpit and the ability to carry various munitions on five anchor points. In 1996, Embraer chose the Israeli firm Elbit system to supply the avionics such as the mission computer, front displays and navigation system. It has a modern cockpit with digital navigation instruments and even a weapon system that allows it to launch laser guided bombs, conventional free fall bombs and rockets. It can operate in all types of weather during the night and day. It also has, unlike the original Tucano, two machine guns in the wings of 12.7 mm with 250 shots per weapon. It has a turbo engine, propeller, Pratt Whitney Canada PT 6A68. The same ones used by planes that compete in the market with this one, like the Texan 2 or the Pilatus PC 21. It has a long range and autonomy capable of carrying three fuel tanks, one in the central part or the ventral pylon and two in each of the wings. It is a single engine low wing design 
It has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,400 kilograms and a range of 1,330 kilometers with the internal fuel tanks. Its maximum speed is 590 kilometers per hour and it has five attachment points to carry up to 1,550 kilograms of armament. In addition to its manufacture in Brazil, Embraer has established an assembly line in the United States in partnership with Sierra Nevada Corporation for the production of the A29 for export clients. In Latin America, the forces using the Super Tucano are those of Brazil with 99 operational aircraft, Chile with 22, Colombia with 25, the Dominican Republic with 8, and Ecuador with 18. But it was also exported to many countries around the world. Twenty of these light attack aircraft were purchased for the Afghan Air Force. When in 2011, the Super Tucano was declared the winner of the United States Light Air Support Competition, beating the very American 86B Texan II. The first four aircraft arrived in Afghanistan in January of 2016 for close air support and escort of attack helicopters. In, in April of 2023, the manufacturer announced the A29N, a variant destined for NATO countries. The A29N would include equipment required by NATO, data link communications, and would be equipped for single pilot operations. The available simulators used for training will incorporate virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality technology. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next video, I'm Marcos and this is Aviation World's Aeropedia.